Hello, everyone, and good morning. Welcome to today's webinar. Our topic for today is A Marketeer's Guide to Protecting Customer Data. My name is Moshami Bose, and I'm Director of Product Management for Security and Privacy for ARM Treasure Data. Before we get started, the presentation, just a few housekeeping items. Following the presentation, a recorded version of this webinar will be available on demand. We've also included a bunch of attachments, so feel free to view these at any time. And of course, we'd love to hear from you. So if you have any questions during or after today's session, please submit them below in the Q&A. And without further ado, let's get started uh, today with our topic, A Marketer's Guide to Protecting Customer Data. So let's start with the challenges faced by the marketeer in today's data-driven world. Collecting customer data is the single most important element of your marketing strategy. Without data, you're marketing blindly. While your, competitor, uh, while your largest competitors are collecting data and using it for more targeted marketing. In the meantime, your customer preferences are also changing, and what they loved five years ago isn't what they want today. So to stay in touch, you need to constantly collect data to provide better customer experiences. However, here's the catch. The customer data comes at a price. Today, your customers simply assume that when you are marketing to them, you know who they are, what they've done, and what they want at all times and across all channels. They are willing to share their personal data with you so that you can offer them better personalized services, but they also expect you to protect the privacy of that data. Now, as a marketeer, you know that gathering and acting on unified customer information isn't easy. There are many challenges along the way in terms of technology, organization strategy, budgets, etc. However, your customers do not know nor care about these challenges. And they will share data with you only when you can ensure that the data they trusted you with will be carefully secured. So this requires belief that the company will only use it as intended by the consumer and the company will have mechanisms in place to prevent data breaches and leakage. So if you don't meet your customer's trust, they'll assume that you don't care about them and they'll take their business to somebody else. So businesses should therefore focus on building trust with customers while still providing them with excellent customer experiences. And marketeers have the opportunity to lead the way here. So marketeers who embrace privacy principles while creating those unified customer experiences have an opportunity to build trust by convincing their customers that the brands they patronize actually care about them and their privacy preferences. Let us now explore how marketers can help in this journey by using a MarTech tool called the Customer Data Platform. A Customer Data Platform, or CDP, creates a comprehensive view of each customer by capturing the data from multiple systems, linking information related to the same customer, and storing the information to track behavior over time. A CDP puts marketing in direct control of the data unification process. And marketers use this technology to create monetizable unified customer data profiles for targeting, segmentation, and personalization. Today, we will talk about the CDP from ARM Treasure Data and show how this technology can also be used as a foundational element to enable data privacy compliance and improve your overall data security posture. As a marketeer, in addition to unifying all your customer data, you can also leverage the CDP to maintain the trust of your customers who are increasingly expecting you to protect their data privacy. And we 
On the slide, we see a number of ways how our CDP can help you do that. I will be covering each of these items in detail as we go forward in the presentation. So before going into the specifics about our CDP, I'd like to spend a couple of minutes on privacy regulations and how to understand them from a marketer's perspective. So this slide here establishes a framework which can be used to do that by looking at the purpose and intent uh, understanding who is the protected entity, the scope of the regulation, and finally, the governing policies and how they are enforced. So within privacy regulations, GDPR and CCPA are top of mind for all marketers. So this slide talks about the key aspects of each regulation. And without going into the nitty gritties of each regulation, it is fair to say that although the CCPA has a lot in common with Europe's GDPR, it would be a mistake to think that compliance with GDPR means your company is all set for CCPA. So despite the common goals where GDPR and CCPA overlap, there are unique provisions to each regulation that require special planning uh, from brands. So as a marketer, it's important to understand that these regulations will be applicable to you depending on where your consumer is, not where your company is. So if you are at a company that is already GDPR compliant, the good news is that it will make the process of becoming CCPA compliant much smoother. Now, in addition to these privacy regulations, there are often local privacy regulations that marketers may have to deal with depending on the geographies in which they are conducting their business. And in the next two slides, we, uh, they provide an overview of who is protected and who is regulated within the scope of these privacy regulations. So GDPR talks about data subjects who are defined as identified or identifiable persons to which personal data relates. So all personal information about data subject is subject to the law's provisions. In addition, there's the controller who is any person, agency, or authority that collects personal data on EU citizens for any purpose. And then there's the processor who is any person, agency, or authority that the controller employs to process EU citizens' personal data. So within GDPR, the data subject is the protected entity and controller and processes are within uh, uh, the scope of the regulated entity. So CCPA has a similar approach, though the definitions differ a little bit from GDPR. Now, what is important is for marketers to understand where their business fits in within the regulated category as it directly impacts what they can do with PII data and how much liability they carry. So in the next few slides, we will look at how ARM Treasure Data CDP helps your organization uh, enable privacy compliance. So first, let's start with how privacy compliance is actually creating more complexity in today's already complex data world. So as we all know, data-driven transformation requires changes. Today, marketers are expected to change the way, the way they work, how they define their target segments, how they drive customer journeys, how they're measuring and optimizing campaigns. CDPs are helping marketers break out of data silos and unifying that data from disparate sources, which are coming in from multiple channels and devices. Very large enterprises are running customer analytics based on hundreds of data sources globally. So all of this makes the data environment extremely complex. And then privacy compliance adds in another dimension of complexity into this mix. So it comes down to the fact that you have to pay attention to when all that data comes in, what data is being given to you, especially in the context of PII data. Secondly, 
consumers are driving brand relationships. And it is important to ensure that you have their trust. So you need to understand all these channels really, really well. Consumers are also demanding more privacy as these days. They are, sharing, they are basically saying that they can share their data with you, but they're also asking that you provide value back to them in terms of personalization, yes, but also in terms of trust and security. And of course, in this uh, privacy-based um, environment, people are also starting to pay attention. So government agencies are paying attention. The big walled gardens are starting to pay attention now more and more to privacy concerns. So we are in this very fast-paced regulatory landscape, uh, and we foresee that there will be more and more regulations coming up. And eventually, organizations will have to be able to evaluate those regulations and decide on their compliance posture. Privacy compliance is going to be a very big data challenge. So marketers are going to be concerned about where the data is coming in from, whether the data they use is compliant. They're going to be concerned about the overall consent situation, collect the consent from their customers, and are they engaging with customers that have opted in into their marketing programs. On the other hand, there are compliance officers today that you have to deal with who will be concerned about other aspects of PII data, how PII data is going through the system, data traceability, lineage, and all of that. So eventually, it comes down to navigating this data complexity. And you need to know that the data you can use in your marketing programs, you need to understand where that data came from, so is the data available to you in the form that you need it? And then, of course, who else can see that data? You need to understand all of these. So Calculator CDP can help with all of these challenges. We have the expertise in data and compliance to be able to set these complex pipelines up. We do that through a process of data integration, creation of unified customer profiles, and everything is done in a secure and compliant manner. Eventually, we audit and log all of these activities so that you can appease your compliance officers at the end of the day. Now, as a marketeer, you want to glean actionable insights from all this data so that you can better personalize services for your customers. You want to unify the customer data, put it in one place, run predictive ML for the sake of engagement and other, all the other great things that as a marketeer you want to do. Now, from a privacy compliance perspective, you're also going to want to model consent alongside these unified profiles so that you can use this information to set up your campaigns. You want to be able to set up all this data and use it wisely. And you're going to do that because you want to reduce risk. Overall, you definitely don't want to run the risk of doing anything that goes against your organization's security and privacy mandates. So with Treasure Data CDP, we can help you set up all the consent management controls and do that with events right as they happen in real time. And then, of course, we, we are going to talk about trust. As we mentioned before, it's all about improving customer experiences. And customer trust is a very integral part of that process. So marketers should use information and data that people give to us for a specific purpose. And marketers need to understand that purpose. This is a major tenant of GDPR, by the way. So with our CDP, we will help marketers understand those preferences, what customers told marketeers they can or cannot do or collect, uh, what information can they collect about these customers. So all of these goes a very long way in improving customer experiences. And then, of course, as a marketeer, you're doing this alongside the same good tools and processes that you already have employed right within the CDP. 
So you're just creating efficiencies in your productivity by marrying the consent information right there in the CDP as well. So you can use all of this to create and activate audiences from that one system with the consent information modeled right in. Now this slide looks fairly similar to the previous one, except that we are talking about uh, we are talking about a different persona here, which is the compliance officer. And it is important for marketers to also understand the requirements that this persona brings to the table. Because compliance officers, they will want to quickly respond to any customer data request. Now, this is a big piece of any privacy compliance policy, and teams dealing with customer data will absolutely have to implement this. All these privacy regulations scope out exactly when you, by when you need to respond to a data subject request. A data subject can come in and ask, hey, what data do you have on me? I want to be able to see that data. Under GDPR, the data subject may want you to delete the data, update it, or even transfer it over to another organization. Now, CCPA has some differences, but nevertheless, it is important to note that these are all pretty intense sort of regulations. So with Treasure Data CDP, all of the data is in one place already, and we can help marketing teams respond in a very timely fashion to these sort of data requests. And we'll see more details about how we do that in the upcoming slides. So here we talk about our privacy by design capabilities, and Treasure Data continues to focus on a privacy by design product development approach. So first is, uh, the first area is around consent. So consent can be enabled either natively on the CDP or through integration with other consent management applications. So we can help marketeers keep track of whether the user provided their consent or not for having the data tracked, whether the data can be used for analytics or targeted advertising campaigns. So all of this helps with respecting opt-outs from segmentation, profiling, and other automated marketing processes. So when it comes to data retention and expiration, we have all the bells and whistles. And of course, there are specific mandates within these privacy regulations that say how long you should be keeping the data. So with our CDP, we can help you securely store personal information about your customers, retain it while you need it, and then expunge records automatically based on your legitimate business needs and your privacy obligations to your customers. Uh, then from data correction and erasure perspective, we can track and process all requests for rectifying and forgetting personal information. So this can be done across treasure data as well as other downstream systems. And then I'll talk about data collection and what we do around that um, um, in a, a slide um, done in the presentation. So with consent management, as we mentioned, we can build, uh, have the consent natively on the platform, or we can integrate with major um, consent management platforms such as OneTrust and Gatekeeper and others. So integration with, uh, of this consent with Treasure Data workflows can enhance our support for compliance regulations like GDPR and CCPA. In addition, we can also use uh, use this consent information with workflows uh, for segmentation and activation purposes. So from a data collection perspective, our SDKs are all built to be privacy compliant. So uh, whether it's our mobile SDK or our JavaScript SDK. So when we are processing those requests for to be forgotten sort of requests, uh, all the personal data collection can be blocked right at the mobile SDK or the JavaScript SDK, and there are more safeguards put in place to omit from further data processing. Now, uh, the left picture is a bit 
perhaps a bit small to see all the details, but it is actually showing a recent report from 451 researchers, Voice of the Connected User Landscape, where respondents were asked to rate various data privacy features. And almost 50% felt that the ability to permanently delete PII data or deny access to PII data were some of the key capabilities they were looking for in data privacy vendors. So which brings us to the topic of how Treasure Data CDP can handle such requests and more. So as you see here, we have pre-built template workflows as part of our orchestration suite that can be used to very quickly set up data pipelines that will delete users who are requesting to be forgotten or inform users when they're requesting a copy of their data, as well as update the customer records of data subjects uh, based on their privacy requirements. So as we, we saw in the last few slides, on Treasure Data, CDP can really help you achieving compliance with many of the, these privacy regulations. Now, in order to achieve sustainable privacy compliance, so organizations need to have technologies in place that are efficient, effective, and agile to keep up with their dynamic business environments. However, this is not a point in time exercise and neither is it just dependent on technology alone. So the people and processes are equally important alongside the technology to maintain this ongoing diligence towards privacy compliance. So after privacy compliance, let us now look at how Arm Treasure Data CDP plays a, a key role in securing the customer data in your organization. So to start with, I'd like to spend a few minutes talking about identity and access management and how we enable access control on the platform. So identity and access management is a very foundational element of your privacy strategy. An effective IAM policy will protect the personal data from unauthorized access by limiting the user access to resources. And obviously that helps improving your privacy posture. So now let us look at how Treasure Data CDP is implementing fine-grained access controls to limit access to customer data. Not everyone on your marketing team needs access to all the data you're collecting. The more access points you create to the customer data, that also opens up more and more threats pertaining to data leakage or the sensitive data breaches which we hear about all the time. So you want to prevent these threats, and hence it is essential to limit the access to customer data. Also having fewer employees in your organization accessing your customer data also reduces the risk of internal data abuse or insider threats. So using Treasure Data CDP as the central source of customer information makes it very easy to check that all users of customer data comply with regulations and consent. Permissions are also essential in this uh, aspect. They're essential to data policy enforcement, which protects the customer's PII data. And then we have a very flexible permissions model where custom policies can be defined to control fine-grained access to all the entities and data within our CDP based on your business needs. So we, sec we secure the platform to the principle of least privileges. And then, of course, uh, with this granular access control, we also promote productivity and collaboration on the platform. We also offer very detailed auditing and logging capabilities to monitor the access and use of the data. So access rules can also be uh, defined to take into account the user's persona and which also determines what needs to be done with the data. So for example, data and, uh, scientists and marketing analysts will get very different access policies based on their roles. However, even within marketing teams, it is possible to define different levels of access for let's say a campaign manager versus a marketing analyst. 
So with CD, uh, with Treasure Data CDP, we offer a lot of flexibility in defining these kind of very granular access policies. And it goes without saying that in this journey for protecting customer data, a very robust data security framework is needed as well. So storing customer data assembled in a single system reduces the number of places that must be protected from attack. So our CDP is designed with sensitive personal data in mind, and data security is built in as part of its core architecture. So all customer data on the platform is encrypted at rest and in transit. And the CDP provides options to mask sensitive and PII data when appropriate, including anonymization and hashing. We also ensure compliance with data residency requirements via our network of global data centers. And finally, a word or two about user management. So in addition to fine-grained access to data, we also adhere to very strict standards around user management and authentication. So our CDP supports SSO-based authentication with multiple enterprise IDPs, uh, which provides a lot of flexibility when you're looking at integrating this into your enterprise security architecture. And of course, we support local authentication as well. And uh, last but not the least, uh, there's the topic of certifications. So Treasure Data takes uh, security very seriously, and we take advantage of advanced certifications such as ISO, um, IEC 27001, and SOC 2 to ensure that all the data we keep for our customers is safe and is protected from breaches and loss. So to summarize what we have seen in this presentation is that yes, collecting customer data is the single most important element of, of your marketing strategy. However, that customer data comes at a price and failure to protect it leads to a loss of customer trust. Instead of making compliance the ultimate goal for organizations, we believe that companies should focus on building trust with customers while still providing those personalized experiences that add value. And marketers have the opportunity to lead the way here with privacy-aware marketing tools such as customer data platforms that are build built upon privacy by design principles. So a customer data platform will help marketers protect the customer data, and ensure compliance in your organization. So with that, we come to the end of the presentation. And at this point of time, I would be opening it up for questions, any questions that you may have. Okay, so looks like uh, we have a question around, well, how do you ensure transparent, transparency about various data operations on the system? So good questions. And I think we made a point about how we are auditing and logging every activity um, on the CDP today. So just to go into a little bit of details around that, all the activities for data changes, job runs, security privilege changes, importing and exporting of data, everything is logged on the system. And uh, all the logs, we also offer very premium logging capabilities. So you can transfer these logs into your uh, own logging database and you can view, filter, query all these logs as you would need it. 
And these uh, premium logs are um, log captures can hold an unlimited number of events as well. And we also, um, our enterprise customers are using this feature to set up integration workflows uh, to export these logs into their enterprise uh, SAMs so that they can get that holistic picture of what's going on with security in their organization. Um, okay, uh, the one other question that is has come up is how are we managing data deletion requests for all these compliance regulations on the platform? So, uh, as I mentioned before, I think we have workflows to handle these, and whenever a, cost, a, a data subject request comes in to delete data, the customer data can be deleted at that time itself. So we support all the data deletion requests by our API and pre-built template workflows. So we also provide delete features to purge data for certain time frames as well as auto expiry, um, expiry ex options for the data. Um, our data retention policy is also very customizable, so it can be set depending on the need of each of our customers' needs. Uh, and finally, one other question that has come up is around what are we doing with privacy regulations other than GDPR and CCPA? So very good question. Uh, we, as I mentioned earlier on, there are, in addition to GDPR and CCPA, which are the key ones, there are other local privacy regulations that we have to keep in mind. So depending on where the business is being conducted that will often have local privacy implications. And today, for example, we are looking at privacy compliance in Korea, in Japan. Japan is going through a very um, massive change in terms of privacy regulations. So um, we're looking at India. So th again, this is based on what our customers are telling us and customer priorities. So we are working with our legal as well as our product development teams to build out features that are more suited to also address the local privacy regulations um, and the requirements from these local privacy regulations. Okay, so it seems like that's it for all the questions. So thanks everyone for your time. And a very quick reminder before we wrap up, please visit our Bright Talk channel where you can view on demand and upcoming webinars. And with that, once again, thanks everyone for joining us today. Bye.